Hello again everybody, this is John and Glenn with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today we're here to talk to you guys about vegetable protein versus animal protein. Uh, it's a subject that's come up on with Facebook questions. People hey, have wondered about the differences, so on and so forth. So why don't you give a couple examples of what you know would qualify as a vegetable source protein and then some animal source and then we can kind of get into some of the details real quick. Okay, uh, vegetable or plant-based protein. Um, some popular ones in the market would be hemp protein, pea protein, um, brown rice protein, um, a popular one that we carries a garden of life raw protein um, it is a plant-based protein it's got a combination of uh, different plant-based proteins five or actually like ten of them almost um, you've got quinoa uh, millet sprout buckwheat um, hemp is something hemp, up flax sunflower seed things like that so th those are some examples of a plant-based protein yeah i said vegetable vegetable yeah. is just one of many plants that could be there's some grains obviously mm -hmm. rice is a popular one and then some animal-based proteins would be yeah whey casein uh egg protein all your meats yeah, fish meats, things like fish. that mm -hmm. So what we're looking at here is typically just just to be out front, plant-based proteins have gotten better, you know, as yeah. by the powder you have. There's a lot of sources in there, and yes. that's there's a reason for that. And you want yeah, plant-based proteins are, are generally considered um, not a complete protein source because they do lack some of those essential amino acids. So companies have, have started to get wise, and, and they're adding multiple sources of plant-based proteins to combine them together to give a favorable amino acid profile. Um, this particular one right now doesn't have the amino acid profile on it, but the, the newer labels will, um, and they've shown that it's actually, they've been able to create a, a favorable uh, amino acid profile by blending these different plant proteins. Yeah, so a lot of your plant-based proteins tend to be low in a lot of the sulfur-containing amino acids, such as cysteine, methionine, things like that. They're very, very important, and plants tend to be very low in them. And when you look at like a protein digestibility score, you know, we're talking about eggs, are about 97%. So that means, you know, 97 grams out of every 100 grams of actual protein that you're getting, you're able to digest and utilize. Um, milk comes in at 97, um, you know, peanut butter 95, whole wheat 86, soybeans are at 78, and rice 76. So with, like Glennon said, if we can take multiple sources, for those of you who are vegetarians or vegans, um, you know, obviously, if you're what we call a lacto vegetarian, then yes, you can use dairy. That would be your, your best source of protein that you can choose from. But going with something that's going to have a, a, a variety of mm -hmm. sources to make up for those you know weak points of some of the plant-based ones. Plus, aren't some of the powders fortified now with like BCAAs and they're adding some yeah. of the free-form amino yeah, acids? Yeah, they there. are adding some uh, free-form amino acids in there. Some of them do. Um, this one doesn't, but some of the other ones do add some BCAAs in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, when it, just strictly talking about the protein, you know, we'll leave aside the other nutrients just for the sake of this just to keep mm -hmm. it focused on protein. I mean, that's really what it comes down to as far yeah. as the difference. If you're not a vegan or a vegetarian, I would say then, you know, just rely on your animal-based ones. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, there, there is a difference uh, that I just want to point sure. out that when you're drinking it, there is a difference in texture. Yes. Um, whey protein is a much creamier protein shake. It, 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 you know, you could blend it up, uh, mix it with water, mix it with milk, and you, it, it'll taste like milk or have, a, I should say, the texture of milk. Whereas plant-based protein is a little grittier, um, almost like, uh, you know, there's a little bit of like a sand feeling yeah. when swallowing it. Um, you know, some people, you know, just get used to it. Did you say they feel like bags of sand? No, <laughs> like you're swallowing movie bags of movie sand. reference. Um, and it, that's a good point because <laughs> like you try them and some of them are a little more mm -hmm. gritty, and. Yeah, I mean, I think that's going to be the biggest thing is taste. I mean, yeah. typically, you know, that's going to go to the animal proteins. You know, sometimes people say, oh, this hemp protein is the greatest thing ever. Compared to what? I mean, yeah. if you're going to compare it to the animal base, it's just not. If, if you're, again, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, great, good. Um, if you're not, I wouldn't replace your whey, for instance, mm -hmm. with hemp protein. That's it's just, it's not going to add up in terms of uh, protein digestibility. And again, there's some other factors there you can consider. Um, but I think we covered everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else we could touch on. But if you guys have any questions, we just wanted to clear that up for you. Post them in the comments section of the video or blog. We're more than happy to answer them. Also, you can check us out at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you.